Welcome to CSEC Biology the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson and today we're going to be looking at the minimum function. There are times that we have an array of number and we'd like to find out the smallest number in a row depending on how many number that could be a arduous task. Hence we use the minimum function to find that out. Now we could access the minimum function by going on over to the formula bar and we could find it from function, clicking on function and find it. Or we could just type the minimum here, type the min there and click enter. And of course the function will be displayed. So having done that, search function, you just type out the entire word minimum and go. And here we have the min, nicer label than we could just pull it there. Here we have of course what is it used for to return the smallest number in a set of values. Ignore logic, values and of course text. It will not pick up text. Alright so it will definitely pick up a zero but it will not pick up the blank space. So we could use it here and if it's a function that was recently used it will be here for most cases it will be here or you could search among the function here to find it's a statistical function so of course you could just go on down to minimum and there you will find it so having found out where we can find the minimum we are now going to be finding the minimum just writing the formula for ourselves so we usually start off by using the equal sign and then we're going to be using the code min min and then we're going to be using the open curve bracket and we're going to highlight the range for which we want the minimum to be found and then close it there with a curve bracket and click enter now you would have seen here based on the small number it is saying that minimum the smallest number here is going to be zero now that's one way and that's the easiest way i'm going to be writing it for you because the min is just a very small function so you could just remember that and just type it in yourself so what we do we type equal min open bracket then we're going to highlight the range for the cell that we're trying to find and then we're going to close it there enter and for this it is saying that the smallest number here is going to be five all right we could also pull across once we have the formula we could pull across and of course it will also find the minimum in the range here we go just to test if it's correct so we highlight there and it's showing that yes this formula is for that and you'll see the green here all this area here highlighted and that's the range that it is looking on now that's pretty much for minimum you could go back to our lesson on sum or average to find out more about where are some of the places you can find minimum and of course how to write it is similar to all the functions we have done so far thanks much for watching i am mr wilson at csec biology the cover page go on over to a playlist and select excel tutorial to find more lessons on excel 